In this video, we're going to be talking about the ASP.NET validation controls. Uh, in the previous videos, we have created input fields that we did not validate with before we allowed the user to send the data back to the server. So, which means uh, if we require the user to type in a string such as name, if they type in the uh, numbers instead, that means we're just going to accept the data and for, for example if we're if we are adding the data to the database so that means we we are going to have an uh, incorrect data in a da database so validation controls are used to validate form fields before the data is accepted from the user for example if you want user to give us an email we can use validation control to make sure that the user has actually typed the email in the input field so and that's one of the uh, most popular uh, use of validation controls you'll be checking to see if the user has typed in exactly what uh, what you want them to type so we're going to be looking at different uh, types of validation controls in uh, this video series there are six standard validation controls which we will discuss uh, each validation control has validation errors so the validation error are presented so whenever say for example if you, you tell the user to type in an email in the email address field if the user type in a number we detect it and we say to the user the error message are customizable so you can tell the user to type in uh, an email address before they can continue uh, each validation control has a validation error that you can customize so that users are aware of the error message, they are aware of the error and make the appropriate corrections. Uh, the six validation controls that we have in ASP.NET, they include the following. Uh, we have the required field validator, which is used to force a user to input a value in a form field otherwise the user will not be allowed to send the form to the server so just as the name suggests is required so required field validator so the user must actually type in something into the field otherwise we will not uh, allow the uh, form to be sent so the field is required the field is required and must be filled uh, the next one is the range validator which has its name suggest uh, range validator is used to make sure that the user has typed in a value within a range that we have set so we can set the maximum and the minimum value we could say um, um, for example if you want user to access our website only if they are born in a certain year or lower so we could be checking for people who are born between 1960 and 1980 so if a user uh, uh, choose maybe 1985 we might direct them to another page or we might actually no we might actually give them an error and say no this website's only uh, you are not allowed to get into this website unless you are within this so you get the idea we use a range uh, maximum and minimum values to actually uh, uh, before we can accept the data from the user the next one is the compare validator which is used to compare the value uh, the user has typed or selected to another value that we have set so we can actually compare the value that the user have maybe chosen from a drop down list or maybe they have typed in to a value that we have set or we can uh, compare it to a built in value type such as integer so we can say that uh, for example if you have an if you have uh, a, a field where you want the user to type in their age so you only want uh, like old numbers like 25 or 37 you don't want age such as 37.5 so if a user type in 37.5 you can all, always uh, give them the error message to tell them to uh, type in a value which is an old number or we can also use the compare validator to actually compare one field to another field for example the password match field I'm sure that uh, you must have seen this in uh, form fields when you're filling forms on the internet and you have to type your password twice so you can use the compare validator to actually compare what you're typing in one uh, form field to another field regular expression validator uh, is another complex uh, I mean regular expression is a very complex subject 
but uh, if you know how to uh, write a regular expression you can use it to uh, to validate a field by comparing a value to the regular expression for example you might want to validate you might want to uh, make sure that user have actually typed a URL address so you might want to check if the user has actually typed HTTP colon forward slash and uh, all those kind of things so if you know regular expression you can use this to uh, create a very complex uh, validation control uh, the next one is custom validation which we're going to be talking about as well this is, this will allow you to create a custom validation uh, in your website and the last one which is not really a validation control is just a validation summary what this does is it, it allow you to show uh, the summary of all the errors that has occurred in a form so if you have a form with say uh, six fields all with different validation error we can use the validation summary to show the all the errors in the same so that the user so that the user is aware of uh, all the errors in, in a single page and not jump from one field to the next field especially in a very very long form uh, form so user can actually see all the errors in one convenient location and uh, lastly it's good to point your attention to this you can actually tie more than one validation control to a single ASP.NET input field so say for example you want the user to uh, type in a value before you accept the uh, value from them and also you want to make sure that the value is an integer so you can use the required field validator and compare validator so you can actually associate these two validator con uh, validation controls to one text box control so this is uh, what I want to this is an introduction to uh, validation controls and we're going to be um, showing uh, having an overview of what it looks like in the next video thank you